Uh, really quick, I just want to show you something uh, right here. If you're having some issues with the color on your OLED, make sure you go to color temperature. Make sure you keep it at balanced zero. When you keep it at balanced zero, you will see much more natural tone of color. So I just want to show you this really quick. See, like right here, see the tint? Now, if I go with the color temperature a little bit higher, here's, look, look what happens. This is what happens. Let's say I go really, really high. The temperature is going to increase, and you will see more red. You will see more orange if I do that. So the best thing to do is to keep it at balanced zero. So I would just say keep it at Celsius zero. And then what else you can do is you can keep the uh, color at 55. I would leave the color at 55. And uh, if you do that, you will notice here. Let, let's just play the scene really quick, like right here. You will notice much better quality picture. Hold on. Let me just turn this off. Let me get that out. Get, get that out of the way. And you will see a much better picture if you do that. You see, it looks more natural now. So I would definitely do that. And also keep in mind, what I'm recording with my camera, you guys cannot, you, you're not going to be able to see what I'm seeing. Uh, what you're seeing on this camera, it's not exactly what I am seeing. So take my word for it. If you keep the uh, temperature at zero and color at 55, you're going to have much more balanced looking picture quality. So, um, there you have it. All right, it was just a quick video. I just want to show you this in case you guys didn't know that. So, uh, I really don't see any issues as far as the uh, any kind of orange color popping out on this uh, Blu-ray. However, you can go to the tools. You can go to a settings or you can go to the home right here hold on picture mode you can go to the uh, picture mode see I'm on a user and see noise reduction brightness all of this stuff I can I can move the noise reduction to let's say a zero keep it at zero if I wanted to and I can leave the sharpness also at zero if I wanted to which I will do or I can just simply go and choose a standard like uh, the best option I would say just use a standard leave it on standard and there you go uh, let's do one more scene really quick huh. here we go this is a good scene right here this is perfect right here as you can see everything looks natural no you know <clears throat> No issues whatsoever, but you have to remember what what all it does it it makes the deep dark levels so deep and dark, so that's why you see that contrast ratio between the colors. And one thing that you guys will appreciate with the OLED is the uh, there's no judder, there's barely any judder on the uh, motion flow. However, the motion flow will give you a a lot of uh, input <sighs> lag. There will be a lot of latency on there. It'll be a lot of ghosting. So let's choose one more scene. Hold on. Let's go back here. Uh, this is a good scene right here. Let's pause it right here. There. Like I said, no issues, no problem. Works fine. Uh, so remember do this make sure you do this make sure you go to the options 
And this for those of you who do have the OLED, make sure you go to the options. Hold on, right here. Go to the options, click all settings, and then go right here to the uh, picture mode settings. Go to the standard user one. I keep the sharpness at 10 and color at 55 because you don't want to go anything above 55 because if you go above 55 you're going to overbleed your colors so color temperature at balanced zero make sure that you keep the color temperature at balanced zero all right guys well there you go just a little quick uh, remember I'm doing these two videos just to kind of get to the bottom of M9500 and LG and OLED <clears throat> and I'm using this exact same movie to see if the problem exists uh, no issues no problems uh, and this is what someone needs to do before they go put out the video out there do some tests you know go out there do some tests just like I'm doing right now in real time do a test and then find out if the problem still exists alright guys have a good one take care hopefully this helps